Hey YouTube, it's Texas Latina Tactical. My name is Bianca. I just want to start off by saying we are in a safe, controlled environment. Everything is unloaded. Nothing is uh, filled with ammo or anything until we physically get to the shooting portion. Anytime we are reviewing the guns, everything stays run, uh, unloaded. The magazines aren't in the gun or anything like that. But other than that, let's get into the video. So today we have something very special here. This is the SIG P320 Spectre Comp. This is what SIG has to offer everything they can put into this gun. Um, it is very gorgeous, very beautiful. I love it. It goes great with my nails today. So one main thing that's good about it. But um, before we get into it, I will say that whenever you receive it, it does come with a cute little sticker saying SIG on there as well as a certified customs on there. So you are aware that it is a custom um, gun so just look in there and it should show it for but like I said it's very gorgeous everything they can put into it they have now it does have right up here a single port comp um, if you do notice it does kind of have it where it vents out away from you um, it also has the windows or ports whatever you would like to call them whatever you prefer um, one thing about it is I do like the sights on it the sights that it has is a 3R I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to read off my notes on this. Uh, we have not reviewed over this gun, but the sights are a bit different. So it is going to be a three or X-ray three day slash night sights. Um, and it has a little green dot on there, which I love about it. It makes it very easy. It's very big, very easy to look through. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then right here, the grips and everything, they are very, very good. I feel like it does fit very securely in my hand. Um, one thing I did notice with it is that the mag release is very, very easy to use. Um, that was the main thing I always look at whenever I'm using or handling a gun is the first thing I do is use the mag release and I noticed it came out very easily. Um, this is un, you know, nothing in here cleared, but if we put it in here and then mag release, very easy, simple to use, something I do love and enjoy about it. Um, I have not shot this gun. Um, my boyfriend has shot it, so we have used um, it has been used so just keep that in mind but we are going to be shooting with nine millimeters that is what it takes and today we will be using mag tech ammo which is 115 grain um, for y'all if y'all are curious about it but we will get into the shooting portion so for my females out there that love having their nails done and everything mine are kind of semi long they're not too long for my preference but for guns they are very long um i will say there are some guns that when even with the shortest amount of nails that you have on it might be difficult. I am finding that it's actually very easy to load uh, up the magazines. It's not very difficult. Only time it gets difficult is when it starts getting towards the end and it starts being harder. But other than that, um, I will say you shouldn't have no problems. I know with uh, previous guns I've shot before and try to put magazines in, they were very difficult because I had long nails and it would get caught or it would just something would cause it to have problems but just for my ladies out there you shouldn't have any problems if you do just try to find a different way if you put the magazine down this is a trick i learned if you put the magazine down and hold it and push down and put the ammo in and push on that next um bullet then it should make it a lot easier for you but that's just a little tip for ladies out there that is something that helps me out a lot so we have already filled both of our uh, two magazines. It does come with two. Now it does say on here that it does hold about 21 rounds, but whenever we were filling them, we were only able to get 20. The 21 was very hard to put in there. So uh, you might have some trouble. We did trying to fit it, um, but we are going to try to go shoot. I am gonna put this one in my pocket. Um, like I mentioned, I have not shot this gun before. My boyfriend has, but I have not. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it is. So let's go down there. All right, so we're gonna try to go through some of this magazines, probably not all of it, but at least a few of it for the first one. Um, now it does pull back very good. I do love how easy it is to slide it back. Um, like I said, it does have the green sight on it to be able to look easier. So let's see how it shoots. Oh, well, first shot out of it and it automatically jams. So we're gonna try to get this fixed, so give us one second. We get kind of stuck in there, but we did get it fixed. That was just the first shot that I've shot out of today. So not so good to a start. Let's see, let's try to see if we can get through all these. If not, we'll let y'all know. Ah! 
automatically second shot out of it and there's another jam in it um well let's see if it keeps going oh well let's try that again <laughs> well, third one out of it. <sighs> this is just not fun. Ah, didn't do it this time. Well, finally I'm able to get some shots in it now. Well, went through a little bit more rounds without jamming, but I'm not a personal fan. First, not even first 10, probably more than that, it keeps jamming. That I'm not a fan of this, I'll be honest. Yeah, this is really honestly no fun because I can't shoot how I want because it keeps jamming. We are on a second mags. I'll be honest, I don't even want to shoot this one just because out of the first one, how many jams it had. It was very annoying. I couldn't even enjoy the gun because of how many times it kept getting jammed inside it. Um, but we're going to still go ahead and shoot this magazine and then probably load another one to see if maybe it improves, get better, just needs more breaking in. Well, <laughs> what is going on with it? There it goes. <laughs> This is a bit annoying. Now I am going to scoop, scoop back a bit because the sun's starting to hit in my eyes and it's kind of hard for me to see this darkest so I'm going to scoop back a little bit. Um, does seem like it's good with the distance but the jam is very annoying. I will mention that so. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. Well. This is just no fun. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit more just cause that sun is in my way. It's very difficult to see. Oh God, no, that ain't working.
Like I said, we're gonna try to get through these two mags, but I'm getting so frustrated with this gun because of the amount of jams it is having. <laughs> Did that one even fall out? Let's try to scoot up a little bit closer. It's like the sun keeps hitting me. All right, this is our third magazine that we're going through it. Let's. At the end of the last run, it started working a little bit better. Let's see if it's going to start running. I am hoping so, but I doubt it. Yep. Well, I will say it did do a few more that you were able to shoot with than the last time. Well, there it goes. Well, it's doing a little bit better. say it's doing a lot better this time than it did last time a bit but still not big fans taking too long for it to get broken let's do a few more Alrighty, so it does look like it's starting to not malfunction, malfunction as much. So we're going to try to do a few more rounds. Hopefully it is starting to get the break in that it needs. Oh, it jammed again.
Well, I spoke too soon. Alrighty, so we just got done running um, all these boxes of ammo through it, and I will say in the beginning, it really was a piece of I did not like it at all in the beginning, but towards the end, it was starting to go a little bit better. It started working a lot more, not as many jams or malfunctions or anything like that. Um, but I think it was also the magazines were also need to be broken into as well, because more towards the last, I think, um, one say after the first time we put the ammo in there the next few times i was starting to be able to fit all 21 in there so i think that's also something else that was causing some of it too is just everything just needs to be broken into and that was just to me a bit annoying just because of how much money it is and how long it takes for it to start working um like i said before even we i shot it today it was having those malfunctions before I even done it. So um, just so you are aware, now this is off of the SIG website regarding this gun. Um, so I'll let you know what I think. I think it is a pretty good gun after all this malfunction is gone and over with, but um, it was saying that it has a tungsten infused grip module, which I do like that. Um, it is making it very easy to grip it. It did, I will say the recoil on it wasn't as bad. Um, there, To me, honestly, there wasn't really much of a recoil as to other guns I've shot. So I do like that. The trigger wasn't bad either. So that's another thing. Um, now the serrations are falling serrations. They're not the typical ones. That is something you will notice on there. Um, now there is something, what the f was that? Okay. Um, that right up here on the optic plate, if you look, you can add on there. Um, now it does say on here that you can add, it's compatible with a Romeo 1 Pro, a Delta Point Pro, or a RMR. So that is something that if you do wanna add onto there, you are more than welcome to. It is compatible to get those added. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, now the comp, uh, the comp right up here, it is also, um, you can take it, you can remove it if you don't want it. I am gonna keep it on here. I personally did like it. I did feel like it was very helpful when shooting the gun, so it is gonna be staying, but if you don't want it, you are able to remove it and take it off, but that's just up to your personal preference for us. We will be keeping it on there. Um, and then on here, it was also mentioning that the front sights, um, how they are, which the sights were great. That was one of the main things I loved is the sights and the mag release is, the sights, it is very easy to keep on point, able to shoot very easily, not have to worry about it going all over the place or anything like that. That is one thing I did love about it. Um, but overall, it does also come with this beautiful uh, little coin. I really don't care for the coin. It's just, just a coin. Um, it comes with this and the certification. It has this on the back. I don't really care for the back. I like the front better. Here's a little bit of a close up on it. If you're a fan of it, you know, you get a coin, but I don't really care for the coin. I just want the gun. His main thing I'm looking for, but that's just something to keep in mind. But other than that, um, I think if y'all want us to do an update review, please let us know down in the comments because I do want to see it really is a beautiful gun. It does work really well when it is working. So we're probably going to later on shoot some more through it, see if it starts working a little bit better because it's starting to get the break in it needs. But like I've mentioned, it's just ridiculous how long it's taking. Um, now we are also gonna uh, put some uh, footage of the cameraman, AKA my boyfriend, uh, shooting the gun as well. So you can see from a guy's perspective, um, in case you wanna say just cause I'm doing something wrong or anything like that now. Okay, so I will say that the grip feels nice. Uh, this thing has no recoil. I mean, the comp really does work. Um, we'll try it again, because that one ran flawlessly.
flawless. As far as I know, when he was shooting it, I don't think he had any malfunction, but that was also towards the end after we were um, getting it all kicked in and everything. Now, his personal preference, he was mentioning that he did like it, that there was no kickback. It was straightforward, everything on it. Um, he did love the grip on it. That was something that he did admire on it. But other than that, um, you're going to see it all in the video from both point of views. But like I mentioned, if y'all do want us to do another review, just comment down below and we'll uh, do an update. We're going to try to get more into it. But um, other thank you so much again for watching today. Comment, like, subscribe down below. We will also have our Cash App and Patreon if you would like to support us that way as well. But always hit that subscribe button and like button as well. That does appreciate it. Um, but we'll see you again next video. Bye.